We have snow. A lot of it. And it's still October. And I don't mind the snow. The snow makes it brighter, whiter. What I do mind is that this is probably going to go away next week because it's getting warmer. And then we have a cold and dark November. I don't think the nomads would have stayed in this country if they came in November. When the snow settles, probably in December, then it's fine again. It's white, but dark, but, but, but white. Anyway, I, I was thinking, why did I become a musician? Why did I choose music as my work? And I have some conclusions. I also asked some of my friends to answer the question, what is the main reason you work with music? Do you want to know what they said? Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? First of all, I'd like to thank you for watching my videos and the subscriptions I've got. It's really appreciated. So thank you so much. And I want to ask you if there's something you want me to do, something you want to see about the life of a musician or music related of any kind. Please let me know in the comments. It's not that I'm lacking ideas for YouTube videos. I have plenty of ideas, but I want to know what you want to see. So please let me know. In this video, I asked both myself and a few of my colleagues to answer the question, what is the main reason we work with music? And maybe it is like Tim Peers answered me. It's impossible to say. A part of why I want to do this YouTube channel is that it challenged me to think about the why, how, what, when and, and why. I did say why two times, didn't I? Let's see what my colleagues answered on the question, what is the main reason you work with music? Two of my friends answered pretty short and it's nothing wrong with that. Peter Söderström said, because I love it. Anton Forsberg wrote, it has been my dream for my whole life and to have a plan B was never an option. I think what they mean is, they work with music because the love of music. Lina Melander said, Music is my passion and my number one creative expression. I also like to create collaborations through traveling and meet new musicians. Johan Arveli said, It's the only thing that gives me a mental breakdown every day, but I still can't wait to get back to it the next morning. And I can totally relate to that. You could really see that Ronny Åström also is an author. This is more like a story. One day, I'm at a small stage in a pub entertaining with my little trio. And the next day, I'm standing on a big stage with a 10-piece band and 4,000 people in the crowd. And two seconds after that, I'm in a tour bus on my way to another city. You come home filled with love. And when everyone else is on their daytime job, I'll walk around in my hometown shopping and visiting restaurants all on my own. There's no repeating days ever. The number one best part of my job is that I play guitar and sing for a living. And nothing can beat that. I'm getting paid to do the only thing I ever wanted to do. 28 years as a full-time musician. Hopefully, I'll die old on a stage in the middle of a guitar solo. What I think he talks about here is not only his passion for music and his love for meeting new people, being on different stages in different cities, he also talks about the contrast between the responsibility and the freedom of being a musician. I took a long shot. I sent the question to the world's most recorded person. At least 
most recorded person alive. I sent a message to Leland Sklar, and I was so happy that he wanted to answer me. I love music and have been a musician since I was five years old. It's my life. Have you seen a concert? You've seen him. And Tim Pierce and Leland Sklar have their own YouTube channels. You should really check them out. The link is down below. The next one makes you think a little bit. Jonas Lindgård said, Music is expressions of emotions, much more powerful than a spoken language. The world would be a much more dangerous place without music. Petra Wahlgren wrote, I would say the main reason is the connections, musician to musician and musicians to the audience. The connection is, at least for me, a way to instantly feel alive and to make the moment matter. There can sometimes be a difference between playing music for your own sake and playing for the sake of other people. Two people that wrote about this was Hansa Barry Bayer. I like to entertain people. I see myself as a musician in function. I play what people want me to play. And Peter Kish. Music is my calling. I feel a strong need to serve, help and send energy to other people. And the best way for me to do it is through music. And finally, my friend Jens, he's a little more philosophical. To work with music is for me like an extension of my soul, body and spirit. The Trinity. A universal language that crosses over time, space, age, boundaries and speaks through every dimension of life and nature. When performing live, we commonly create an atmosphere and connection between that is so unique we can only experience it in the now. Music is a never-ending source of passion. A good friend of mine that uh, is a fantastic drummer, uh, he was the only one to send me a video clip, so let's see what Eric Edlund had to say. Hello there, Roger and everybody else out there, and uh, congrats on your new YouTube channel. It's a very tough question you asked, and... Uh, I think the short answer is that I love music and that's what I do best, so therefore I work with it. And I've been lucky enough that people have asked me to play with them, which I don't take for granted at all. I don't uh, obviously love every gig I play, but um, I see it as a way of financing my hobby in that case. And my hobby happens to be music also. So there you have it. I have one question for you now, Roger. Funka ride and bra. <laughs> Your ride always sounds good, Eric. Always. Eric also have a YouTube channel. Link down below. So why do we choose music as our daily job? Or, or should I say way of life? Because the money is not good. So why? Well, there are other benefits. And uh, let me show you. We all work with music because we have a passion and a love for music. There's also an ego boost. Yes, it is. If someone tells you it's not, they are lying because we all want to be seen and maybe impress people or something like that. So there is an ego boost. We also, of course, have the ability to move people, to make emotions, to make people happy and having a good time, which is really satisfying. There is a lot of freedom in the music work. When we have assignments, we have to use the schedule, we have to be on time, we have to perform well. What we do in between the assignments, that's up to us. We choose our own time. Yeah, yes, we need to practice. We need to take care of our instruments, program sounds in our synthesizers, learn new stuff, all those things. We have the ability to choose our own time. Maybe I should do a video about a week in a musician's life. Hmm. Let me know if you want me to do that. 
We also meet a lot of people. We have good conversations with a lot of new people. We meet, we see different places, different cities, if it's in our own country or in the world, but we explore a lot. And one more thing that I want to add to the list is that every day is a challenge. And for me, that's one of the main reasons. Every day I learn new things. And that's what keeps me going. So there you have it. I hope you got something out of why we became musicians, why we wanted to be musicians and have that as our work. I haven't forgotten the Swedish word for today. It's going to be orsak. In English, that's reason. Orsak. And let me end with the answer from my friend Carl, because I totally agree with it. I make a living doing what I want and have the privilege of making people happy. The only downside is the travel hours. Roger that.